halftime score. Alabama 10, Auburn 7. We are close to teeing it up for the second half. Here we go with the second half of play of the 39th meeting between Auburn and Alabama. Auburn will kick it off. Gillis kicks it off, and it's Taylor and Shelby, the deep man, and he bounces it down to Shelby. And Willie gets outside the 25. He is finally caught and dragged down. We look at their offensive line. And in the backfield for Alabama, as they break out of the huddle for their first offensive possession of the second half, we want to call it the 29-yard line. It is Rick Watson in there at the North Culliver. And Culliver is the fullback. Todd gives the ball again to his fullback. And five Eastern time with the most of these ABC stations. It's third down and three yards to go. And they give it to Culliver. And he is hit short. Rob Nelson, the punt, left foot his kicker, gets it off. It's the punt. He hits it down the sidelines and knocks it out of bounds. And Auburn's offensive front will line up like this as we begin the second half of play. I'll tell you, that Fletcher and uh, Nugent have been something on the right side of the line. The backfield, Gargas, Neal, McIntyre, and Gates, the wing back as Dawson goes wide to the right for the Tigers. Neal, 40, McIntyre, 44, the step back, and the ball goes to Neal, and he dies over the right side of the 34-yard line. Face of Alan Pizzatola, who sprained his left ankle in the first half. Gargas, number 11, the quarterback keeping the ball, and he is dropped behind the line of scrimmage. It's third down and a short six now as Vargas is 0 for 2 in passing. He's only put it up twice today. This is obviously a passing situation, but he's not going to throw it. He turns the corner himself, and Alabama's got him. A four quarterback is the punter for Auburn. Snap is in off the mark. Bama coming, but he gets it away, and it's a dandy kick, and Willie Shelby waves the arm, fair catch. First down. Todd is the quarterback, fakes it to his fullback, keeps it, comes up the middle from the 20, gets to the 25. He's, let's call it second down and five as Todd hands it off into the middle. And there isn't much there. It's... That's going way. First down. He's off to the races. He's got a first down at about the Auburn 45 as Bruce Evans, the senior of Birmingham, ran him down. 27 yards. Alabama leading 10 to 7. Todd still got it. Turns in himself. Carries it down to the 38-yard line of Auburn. And it's always, always high. 58 against Florida State, and that's the only close game they have. Second down and a uh, long three. And the play goes into the middle to about the 36-yard line. Alabama, five out of seven on their third down conversion. There's Todd, and the ball off to Billingsley, and he breaks it big down to the Auburn 24-yard line. Gain of 11. The guards of Maxwell and Rogers, Ruffin and Pope for the tackle. And it's 14 Todd, keeping the ball, looking to pitch. Good fake on that cornerback coming up, and Todd takes it for a first down. He Offering the six men up front now as Todd gives the ball to Culliver. Touchdown! Now here's Denny Ridgeway for the extra point try. He didn't get a whole lot of it, but he got enough. And so with eight minutes and 19 seconds to play in the third quarter, the Crimson Tide of Alabama moves out to a 17-7 lead over Auburn. Deep men are Rick Neal, 40, Mike Fuller, 42. Fuller back to the 25, back to the 27-yard line. Vargas is the quarterback. He gives the ball to Cedric. McIntyre, the National Football Foundation and Hall of Fame, outstanding young man. Second down and seven. Gargas turns it in the middle. Nice run. He may break it. Bonnie Robertson finally runs him down at the Alabama 45-yard line. 26 yards on the play. It was a gut tough run. 17 to 7 with 7-10 to go in the third quarter. And the handoff is to Mitzi Jackson, 180-pound junior. Jackson again, and this time, Jordan thinks that Cargus does throw it well, even though his reputation isn't too good. Good place for it here, third down and six. Takes it once, goes down the sideline, he's got Dawson wide open. He's got a touchdown. Well, if 
put it down at the 41. If that is the case, it'll be a loss of the down. Right. And that's apparently what it is. Now here's the outside break, and there he started down the field. He's hit there, and I guess he's got a foot on the sideline right now. And the other foot is on the sideline, so he was out of bounds without any question. The touchdown is called back. Auburn now, instead of being probably 14 to 17, is in punt formation. Sorry to get you folks from Auburn all excited about that. It's a bad punt by Baumgartner. It goes high in the air and goes out of bounds. Got very little yardage on it. A good year since 1968. And now we come back down on the field as Alabama goes to work and give it to Randy Billingsley from the 31-yard line. And Billingsley gets about two yards, made a second down and seven. Todd delivers the ball back to Shelby. Great blocking up front, and Shelby gets it all the way to midfield. Just touching the Auburn 49. Here comes Todd, down the option. It's Billingsley, he's outside. And he's punished by Rusty Dean, number 95, over most of these ABC stations. Todd gives to Billingsley. Randy gets the first down for Alabama. He's 52 in the first half. Perhaps they're beginning to wear down the point. Culliver, running it up the middle. Second down, six from the Auburn, 34. That's Billingsley. He's around the corner and close to a first down. Down 62 and Todd with 34. Alabama last possession with a brilliant precision march for 80 yards for a touchdown. And Culliver, he make it second down and seven from the 24. Todd delivers it late. Beautiful play by Richard Todd. Randy Billingsley is all the way down to the Auburn three-yard line. 21 yards. The first and goal to go from the three. Todd keeps it. Hit hard. Pull back. It's second down goal to go from the three. Todd, he gives it to Billingsley, and there is a crunch. Third down and goal to go. They need about a yard and a half for the touchdown. They won't get it. Oh, maybe look. It was Shelby trying for it. And so with 15 minutes to go in this traditional, Alabama leads Auburn 17 to 7. As Bear Bryant has decided to go for the touchdown. He feels the touchdown here might put it out of reach. Let's see if Auburn can hold him. Todd rolls, running to the right. He's down there at the four-yard line, and Auburn takes over the considered risk. Playoff with Jackson and uh, McIntyre on the right end for Auburn. Number 80, Dan Nugent, jumped on the snap. SEC teams participating regularly in our program, but a great defensive play by Bruce Evans. He came out of nowhere, made the tackle. They come back to live action as Mitzi Jackson has got to bring it out to just past the 14 for the first down. Dargas will throw. He goes deep for Dawson. The pass is picked off by Ricky Davis. Davis intercepted. Alabama has the ball at the Auburn 38-yard line. Watch it. Nope, it's Culliver and Taylor, number 27 in there. Rutledge is his quarterback, and Gary keeps it. Turns it in from the 38. That's after you get all the crops in. <laughs> That's right, second down. They need six. Rutledge gives the ball. The play goes to the right side. It's picked up 89 yards so far in the ball game. It is third down. They need three. Got to go inside the 29 for the first down. Here comes the play to the outside to Taylor. He can fly. The play it again. There have been very few de defensive substitutions for Auburn today. Alabama continuing to use people. They're getting up near the 60 mark now. A number of players used. Gary Rutledge hands the ball off the middle again. As Rutledge is much more technical. He reads a great deal more. Deep. Thank you, Jimmy. As Rutledge comes up on second down and seven, he's still got the ball. Slips and falls as he reaches the 23-yard line. Alabama keeping the ball for almost 11 minutes. That means the Auburn defense has been on the field a long time. Here's the pitch out to Taylor. And the Tigers, though they have been playing virtually the entirety of the second half, the Bucky Fury. Sophomore from Montgomery will go for a 45-yard field goal. He does not have enough on it. He missed it. It is short. So Auburn holds 
on the big defensive play by Dean and McKinney. Against Auburn, the Auburn Tigers have the ball with 10.51 to play in the game at the 20. And Phil Gargan hands the ball off to make it 17-7. That's where we are right now. Auburn with the ball as Gargan hands it off in the middle to Jackson. And Jackson goes. <laughs> Third down and four. Garcus, who's off for four in passing, throws it. He hit Dawson. The pass was a little bit behind him. Now here's the punt for Baumgartner. The snap is on the money, and again, it is a bad kick. It does take an Auburn bounce, however, and rolls out of bounds. It is out of a ball. Good field position up at the 47-yard line. He was on that last kick. 46-yard line it is as Richard Todd comes back to pass, and he's knocked down by Rick Pelliard of Auburn. Billingsley moves up into a slot as Alabama sets two men wide to the right and Todd goes back to throw again. Delivers the ball and it is almost intercepted. Mike Flynn, number 51, had it and he went right through his hand. Picked up one first down, I believe, in the sec whole second half. Here's Todd. Delays gives to Shelby. Shelby gets away from Furnish and he is caught by Bruce Evans. Test footer. Low snap. Hurries and gets it away and he gets a pretty good punt. Angles to the sidelines and knocks it out of bounds. And the Auburn Tigers now have got to make a move. They have got to give their defensive units some rest. The offense has got to get something going if they're going to stay in a ball game. Let's call it the 27-yard line. And they give it to McIntyre, and he breaks it over the left side. He's got one man to beat, and he can't get by Ricky Davis. Two Alabama men drop off on that defensive unit. Alabama with a five-man front, and that way doesn't work Paul. But Auburn has got to put the ball in the air, I believe. Second down and ten. Ball fumble. Auburn keeps it and gains two, almost three yards. Auburn has not been successful on third down plays. They're one for nine. Vargas straight back this time. Turns it in. Dumps it off. It's the Jackson. He's got a first down. At the Alabama 33. Knew he had to get the first down and did. Vargas is hit. Behind the line of scrimmage by Carl Tanna. Here's the pitch to Jackson. He bobbles it. Ball bounces up to him. Mitchell gets around the corner and gets it down to about the 32 yard line for the facility and movement. Greg Montgomery goes in to replace him. Here's Vargas trying to throw it. Gets it off. Had it down at the line of scrimmage. The Auburn Tigers will go for a 50-yard field goal into a slight wind of maybe five miles an hour. Right the face. Tom Gartner throws the ball. They got a screen set up on the sideline. Neil, he's got a first down. Tom Gartner, Clyde Tom Gartner is a quarterback, number three quarterback. They gained 13 yards on that play. He stopped, threw it back as first down Auburn at the Alabama 21-yard line. That's Mitzi Jackson. Four minutes and 35 seconds to play. Alabama leading 17 to 7. Keith Jackson along with Bud Wilkinson and Jim Lampley. And here's Gargas. He gives the ball again to Jackson. He's down to the five-yard line before Ricky Davis saves the touchdown. He, the offense is beginning to move it now. First down and goal to go at the Alabama five. It's McIntyre over the right side. He's got a couple. With the ball just inside the four-yard line on Alabama. Vargas gives it to John Neal, and he's down to the two. Auburn going to the Gator Bowl against Texas. Alabama going to the Orange Bowl against Notre Dame. And here's Auburn. It is Vargas' touchdown! Bill Vargas follows Mitzi Jackson into the end zone for a goal for two, and they are. 17 to 13, they're going for two. The field goal could win it for him. Gargas puts it in the air, and it is so good. He had to unload it in a hurry, and so we are at 17-13 with 2.47 to play.